Baby, are you in here? Good. Come sit down in my lap. Baby, I'm not asking. Come here. Hmm, that's better, isn't it? So, how was your day? Did you do everything I asked? Ate your meals? Did you work? Baby, you've been putting that off for days. Why didn't you do it? You didn't feel like it. Well, unfortunately, we all have to do things we don't feel like doing. That isn't an excuse. Plus, you know you have to do it sooner or later, and sooner is always the better option. Uh-uh, this isn't up for negotiation. It's part of your routine, you do this all the time. Why aren't you doing it now? Hey, stop playing with your hands. I'm asking you a question. <sighs> Baby, is there something you want to tell me? No, it's not a trick question. I'm just asking. Well, I'm asking because you've been different lately. Different as in difficult. Yes, baby, you've been very difficult these days. And I haven't said anything about it because I assumed you needed some space. But obviously, this isn't working out quite like I planned, so spill. What's up? Baby, I'm fine is not an answer. <sighs> because something is clearly off. Don't even try to hide it from me. I know you better than you think. Alright, stop squirming so much. Come on. <sighs> Baby. Do you feel unsafe or uncomfortable telling me whatever is bothering you? Because you're not usually like this, and I would never want you to feel like there's something you can't tell me. <sighs> you know I'm here to protect you and love you and make sure you aren't upset and... I know I can be harsh sometimes, but it's my way of caring for you. Has it been too much, this sort of caring? Well, since you usually aren't as guarded about your problems, I obviously assume this time they were about me. No. Are you sure, baby? Because you've told me about your problems before. You're not usually like this. Well, if not, then will you please tell me what's going on? I promise I'm not going to be angry. No, I won't, even if you're trying to make me yell at you on purpose. Especially that. What do you mean that would be easier for you? It certainly isn't for me. Do you think I enjoy getting mad at you? No, I, I do not. Okay? For the record, I get mad at you when you don't follow the rules, when you don't do what I ask, because we have agreed that I have a certain degree of control over what you do. Because I want the best for you. Now, I don't know why you'd think I'd enjoy getting mad at you, but that's not the truth. Right, I'm not letting you go anywhere until you tell me what's wrong. What is it? Stress? School? Work? Your family? Feeling bad in general? Baby, you have to talk to me. Look, I know it's tempting not to bring it up at all, but... I promise you. And I've seen this happen to you before, though you've never been this adamant. I promise you that you will feel better after you tell me and let me take care of you. Alright? Are we on the same page? Okay. 
I'm all ears. Whenever you're ready. Baby, it's all right. Just take some time. Take a deep breath and try to find your words, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna rush you. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I remember. What about it? Oh. Is that what this is? You feel like... Like I don't love you anymore. Baby, how could you ever think that? No, no, I'm not blaming you. It's just... Well, it's unthinkable to me that... I would somehow stop loving you, or indeed love you any less than I do already. Yes, my dear, I find it impossible to be away from you. I know you feel sometimes that you depend on me, and that I'm always rather cool-headed and in control of you, but... I assure you, I need you just as much as you need me. You are very, very important to me, little one. Well, of course. From the moment I wake up in the morning and see you sleeping peacefully in my arms, it makes it easier to get around during the day. I hate leaving you alone. I hate leaving you at home and... <laughs> Believe me, when I'm at work, all I can think about is getting back to you. Every time you text me, I can't help but smile. And you know how hard that is. <laughs> and when I come home after a long day of work, the sight of you, your voice, your smell, <laughs> the way you tackle me with a hug, you make everything all right. And without you, my life would be very, very bleak and sad and probably meaningless. Yes, I mean it. I don't say these things often. Apparently that can be a problem. But I want you to know that any time you feel this way, you come to me. And we'll figure this out together, okay? <sighs> yes, any time. Whatever problem you have, being an absolute brat is not the way to go. All right? Yes, you were an absolute brat. I just avoided using that word because, you know, didn't want to label you. But now that's, you know, now the air is clear. You have been an absolute brat all week. It's been bugging me. It's dri been driving me crazy. <laughs> yes, it has. Obviously, I've noticed. Come on. Right. Now that's sorted out. Come on. Turn around and face me. Mm, yes, put your legs on either side of me like that. Yeah, come on. Mm, now look at me. And listen very carefully. I love you more than anything else in this world. And I want you to be happy. So whatever's bothering you the next time, no matter if you think it's stupid, insignificant, or if it's going to make me angry, you tell me. Promise? All right. It's a deal then. Now I bought dinner on the way home. Those bento boxes you like so much. Yeah, I've lined up quite a bit for them. So, come on. Come with me.